welcome back. This is video seven of our 11 video playlist series talking about the common struggles on a raw vegan diet. Today, we're gonna talk about the family friend thing, the social gatherings, those kinds of challenges. Let's talk about that in this video. Thank you again for joining me today for another video here on my YouTube channel. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the little bell to get notifications for more. And you can get the ultimate raw vegan bundle right now until May 11th. It's only happening once this year. This is the 2023 ultimate raw vegan bundle where you're getting over $1,700 worth of brand new all raw content, including my new wraps ebook, which is released in this bundle. It's the only place you can get it right now is in the bundle. So if you want it, go grab the bundle. The link is in the description box below. It's only 50 bucks to get everything on the website. So whatever you see on the website, you're getting, and it's all brand new. We all worked so hard to create new content for you, and we're releasing all the new content in this bundle right now only for $50 and only until May 11th. So click that link and go check it out and then come back to the video. But today we're gonna to be talking about the family friend social thing. That can be a big challenge for a lot of people is their family doesn't support them or they feel awkward at family events or friend things or restaurants or they have to cook for their family and they don't wanna be eating what they're making. These can all be legitimate challenges and we want to be accepted by our friends and family and they want to feel accepted by us. So it's like this interconnectedness with food that is so challenging when you step out of it and you make changes to your life and you're not following the norm anymore. You're not doing what everyone else is doing. So now you're different and now they feel like you're different and they have to change and they don't want to change and it creates friction. It's challenging for sure. But what it boils down to is what you want for your body. You are the one that decides what goes into your body and you are the one that has to communicate that with your loved ones. And honestly, if they really truly care, they should be supportive of you in your changes. But the reason why many of them aren't is because they feel insecure, whether it's conscious or subconscious, they feel insecure in their own choices. And when you choose to eat raw or eat vegan or whatever it is that you're choosing that's different from them, they feel threatened. And that's natural because you're moving away from what's normal. You're moving away from their, their comfort zone. Their comfort zone is you eating the potato chips and the pizza with them every Friday night. That's their comfort zone as well. So not only are you stepping out of your comfort zone, you're forcing them out of your comfort zone that you have together. So they don't want that and they see you changing and that makes them feel uncomfortable. So they might get you to come back. They're like the crabs in the bucket. They try to pull you back in because they don't want you to escape and they want what's best for you for sure. And they love you, but they also don't like that feeling of disconnect when you make different choices, but they're not. Your choices, your different choices of say choosing a salad or a smoothie or whatever healthy option that you choose at the restaurant is a mirror and it's reflecting back to them their choice. When they see your salad, they look at their plate of fries and they're like, I should probably have a salad too. And then they feel uncomfortable because they are thinking of all these things in their own mind. So then you get certain reactions from certain people. And I like to say there's four different kinds of people. The inquirer, this is the one that is genuinely interested in what you're doing. So I don't need to talk much about them because they're easy to deal with. We just answer their questions and we might support them. Maybe if they want to change as well. It's the other three that are the challenging ones. Number two is the bully. So when somebody is faced with your choice and it's reflected back to them, they might become a bully. They might poke fun of you. They might irritate you. They might talk down to you. They might try to make you feel bad for making different choices in your life, but realize that is just a reflection on their own insecurities and their fears over your changes. 
or their fears over maybe having to choose differently themselves. This is how they react to the insecurity is they become a bully. The third one is the joker. These are the people who use comic relief to diffuse that insecure feeling on their choices. They use humor, they'll make fun of you, they'll uh, poke vegan jokes or whatever they need to do to diffuse the situation and maybe make it laugh. Even though it's not funny to us, to them, that's making them feel better about their choices. It's all about them making themselves feel better about their choices. It has nothing to do with you. It's just a reflection on what they're going through. And the last one is the debater. And this is the person who's gonna debate you on every topic. No matter if they agree or not, they're gonna debate you because they're insecure about their choices. So they're trying to debate with their views and how they feel that you should eat and how they should eat. And, and then it just becomes this big debate and it gets heated and everything. So those are typically the four types of reactions that people have when you start making different choices in your life. And what I've found is the best solution for all of them is love. Give them love. They are feeling scared. They are feeling insecure. They are questioning your own choices. They're questioning your choices. They don't know what to think. They feel like they're losing you or that you judge them or whatever it is that they're feeling. They need love. They need a hug. They need you to talk to them. They need to share their feelings, whether you agree with them or not, let them share their feelings. Let them be open enough to share that and give them love. Another thing that you can do too is ask questions. Use the Socratic method, which is asking questions, to help them to figure out what's going on within them. So ask them questions. The person who's asking questions is in charge of the conversation. So if you wanna be in control of the conversation, ask them questions. Ask them how they feel about you making different choices. Ask them how they feel about veganism. Ask them what they think that, that they would do in your shoes or whatever it is. Change the subject if you need to. Ask them about their day. Ask them about their newest adventure. Ask them about them and diffuse the situation and have them talk to you. If they're asking you questions like, where do you get your protein or whatever it is, ask the question back to them. Say, where do you think I got my protein? Where do you think I'm getting enough calories from? Or whatever it is, because then it forces them to answer the question back to you and forces them to think. Sometimes they don't have the answer, at which point then you could answer. But it really shows them that they are important to you. When you show an interest in them and their feelings, around your new choices. So get open, communication is key, and this can be really helpful. If your family, the people that you're living with, are not eating the same way that you are and you have to make food for them, there are some tips that you can do. I was actually talking to somebody in DMs and this topic came up, so I wanted to share in this video about that. She has really big issues with cooking food for her family because she's like, I get home from work and then I start making their food and I'm so hungry and I don't want to, and I eat their food, but I really want to have a salad instead and I don't know what to do. So my suggestion to her, which really helped her out, was when you get home from work, snack on some fruit, grab an apple, have a banana, eat some fruit before you start making food. The second thing to do is to make your salad first and make a bigger salad so you can share it with your family as well so that they get some fruits and vegetables into their diet as well, along with maybe their cooked food. But make your food first, because if you make your food first, you can start eating it while you are making them dinner. You get your mouth busy, you're fueling yourself, you're feeling refreshed, you're feeling motivated, like you can face making their dinner while you have your own food. So that's what I would suggest if you're having struggles like that and also get the family involved. Have some of them start to make their own food or help out in any way possible. And I know that's not possible for everybody. Maybe they're not even in the house when you're doing it and you're waiting for them to get home. Those are different situations. But if you are able to have them help you out, ask ask for help because not only will they get more in connection with what they are eating but that takes some of the stress off of you if you're looking for support outside of your family say your family does support you but you feel alone because your friends don't or 
you're kind of isolated because of your new lifestyle and diet choices, look online for some meetups, go to some festivals and explore ways to meet other people. Go to classes at some, maybe some raw vegan restaurants or even just vegan restaurants. Go connect with some like minds, go to yoga class, see if there's other people that you can find because they're out there. I get people who message me who say, I'm in, you know, this city and there's no one here, but I also know this other person who's in the same city. And I'm like, and you know, I try to connect the two together. And a lot of online classes have connected a lot of people together. Chef AJ and I just did recently a class where we had people come in the Zoom and they would cook the, our recipes on the Zoom. And there was like so many people in the Zoom and we would just start talking with each other. It was such a great way to connect. And some people were in the same city and they became friends just because they both joined an online class. They had no idea they were in the same city and now they know. So now they can hook up and connect and become friends. So that's another thing to do, like explore, go into groups, go to classes and find new people because they are out there and they're looking for you too. And finally, before we close out this video, I do want to talk about the struggles of social situations. A lot of people avoid the situation because they don't want to put themselves in the situation. They don't want to have to deal with answering questions or whatever, and that's totally fine. But if you want to practice your new habits, the best time to practice your new habits is when it's challenging. That's going to be the ultimate way to grow your new habits is to practice them when it's hard. So instead of looking at a social situation as a challenge in the fact that you are going to feel uncomfortable and you don't want to go, look at it as a challenge that you are excited to take on. Look at it as a challenge that you can go and practice your new habit. Practice choosing something differently. Practice sharing love with your friends and family. Practice asking questions. Practice using the Socratic method. Practice those things in those situations so you get good at them. You only get good at what you practice. So if you want to get good at dealing with social situations, put yourself in them. But the key is to get your mindset right before you go into the situation. Because if you go into it worried or scared or you don't know what you're going to do or what you're going to order at the restaurant or what you're going to take, then it's going to be extra super challenging. The goal is to set the mind right and plan. What are you going to eat at the restaurant? What are you going to take to the potluck? What are you going to say when uncle so-and-so says whatever about your food? What are you going to do in the situation? Play it over in your mind. We know how powerful the mind is. And when we play these situations, we get more comfortable with them. So play it in your mind, get your mindset right and stand in those power poses before you go to the event and tell yourself that you are excited to take on this challenge and you're excited to see how well you do during it. So take it as an opportunity, not as something you're dreading going to. This is going to be really helpful in building those habits. And this not only helps with the social situations, but in any situation where you find challenging, like after work, you find it challenging to drive home without going to a drive through practice doing that without going or practice eating before you leave work. Practice things that are going to help you in those challenging times during those challenging times, because that's where it's going to really build the habit. So if you're strong and you feel like you're going to take on that challenge, take it on, get the mindset right and plan. One thing that can be really helpful when going into a challenging social situation is bringing something fun for everybody. And in the ultimate raw vegan bundle, we have something really special that we've created for you. All of us got together and all of us provided one of our absolute favorite appetizer recipes. So this is the exclusive collector's edition of the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle favorites. And this ebook can only be purchased in this bundle only this year. This ebook will not be available anywhere else at any other time. So we only make these special for the bundle and they're collector's edition. Every year we make a new one and this year it's appetizer favorites. So if you are going to your social gathering, you can take some cool appetizers and not only are you introducing your friends and family to some 
delicious, different raw food, but you're also helping their health by getting more fiber into them and they get to taste some of the food that you enjoy. So grab the bundle, because not only are you getting that ebook, that special exclusive edition ebook, it's, it's a collector's edition. We have a different one every year. So not only are you getting that, but you're getting my brand new raw wraps ebook, you're getting Nate's Kitchen Essentials course, you're getting so much content valued at over $1,700, and it's all new, brand new content, never before released, it's all raw, and it's all yours for 50 bucks. Just click on that link in the description box below and you'll go to the website. You can scroll through, see all the goodies and buy it now before it's gone on May 11th. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. If you liked it, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click that little bell if you wanna get notifications sent to you whenever I post a new video. Until then, I love you all and fruit on.